Hey, it's your girl Taisha, and I am back with another great video. We're here in my bathroom where I am going to do another glycolic peel, okay? I hope you've watched my video before on my first glycolic peel. That was a 30% peel. Now, I am using a 25% glycolic peel. However, I've been also using a 50% glycolic peel. So I'm gonna give you the names of these products, give you a little bit of background, and show you my updated routine and also my aftercare. So let's get started. First, I start off, um, I just got the shower and I wash my face in the shower. And what I like to do um, just every day after taking off makeup, and especially before I do my glycolic peel, is I take some cotton rounds and I've begun using micellar, here we go, micellar water, okay? And this one here is by L'Oreal. This is micellar water. I used to use astringent. However, I don't use it anymore. It's really drying. So um, in addition to the peels, I have oily skin, but we're using the peels. It dries up um, your skin a little bit to, to help it um to help it peel and things like that. So I like using the micellar water. And what I do is just put some on the cotton round. And even though you wash off your makeup, there's still dirt and makeup that lingers on your skin. I'll be looking right here where my other mirror is so I can see myself and see what I'm doing. And I just rub that across my face, make sure I get all those places where makeup could be lurking. And this Meister water, there's no strong odors. It doesn't burn. I actually was doubting that it would work. I'm like, okay, it's just some Meister water. It's not going to do anything. But boy, let me tell you, I'm about to show you what has been taken off of my face, okay? I washed my face with the uh, Castile soap and um, I had a little bit of, of the African the black African soap. So I'll put that in the description as well. You ready to see what I just took off my face? Bam! <laughs> All of that was still on my face even after I washed it with black soap, Castile soap, and yeah, so it's important that you get all that dirt and oil off of your face and makeup before you use your peel. So like I said, this here, I got this on, it was on sale. Peel this sticker off. It was on sale for $6.77, so just know you're paying in the ballpark, you know, about $7 or $8 for this. I really like this bottle. I've had this for probably a month now, and this is how much I've used. Like, it's gonna last a while. So I'm gonna peel this off. There we go. L'Oreal Meisler Cleansing Water. And I'll make sure that I leave a link on this. I'm pretty sure that you can get this on Amazon so that you don't have to waste gas hunting it down. You can go find it. And um, I'll put it in the description. So we just did this step, which is kind of clarifying and getting all that hidden dirt and stuff off of your face. Now let's talk about this glycolic peel, okay? Before, um, in my other video, I used the 30% from Elrique Naturals. That product is no longer available. So I'm using this glycolic formulations. I bought two of them. And I got this back in Cincinnati at Rose's, at Rose's um, discount store. And this is what it comes in. It comes in a box. This is my one that I haven't opened yet. And this is how much it costs. It was only $3.99. Yes. So I went ahead and bought two of them because it was small enough to fit in my carry-on luggage. The directions on this says that you can actually use this like every other day. And remember I told you when I did my first peel, I used it and I didn't really notice a difference immediately. You know, I tested it with leaving it on longer, 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 using it more frequently. And by the time I did notice a difference in some peeling, I was at the end of the bottle. So what I decided to do when I, when I read this, it says that to use, the skin should be clear, free of irritation, things like that. And it says that apply a very thin layer to non-irritated skin every other morning for one week. After one week, apply a very thin layer to non-irritated skin every morning, okay? Allow 10 minutes for the product to absorb. Always use sunscreen 
SPF 15 or greater. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I wasn't supposed to neutralize it the way I did. And so I continued doing more research. I noticed that over-the-counter like facial products that you leave on contain glycolic acid. However, you do not have to rinse it off. So yes, let me tell you what I did. So when I, my first application of this 25% glycolic peel, I put it on um, before I left out the house. And let me tell you, when it came to that, that every other day, I was really feeling the tingling in my skin. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just use it at night. So I will put it on before I went to bed. And that second time, I'm like, whoa, I'm gonna have to uh, neutralize this. My eyes was watering, I had to go and make the, the neutralizer. But let me tell you exactly what it said. After about two to three weeks, I did not feel it. It was just like like putting on, you know, a facial, um, a facial serum or something. Did not feel it. So that's when I decided, okay, now I got it. Let's kick it up a notch. So what I did was I ordered the 50% glycolic peel off of Amazon. And I'll put this in the description. This is by, uh, what is it, ASDM Beverly Hills. And this is a 50% peel. So what I wanted to do when I got about half a bottle, I poured some of the 50% peel into this. So I'm assuming it like diluted it to around probably um, 35, 40%. And so let me tell you, I noticed immediate changes, okay? And this has become my regimen and I do this every two weeks, okay? So I'm gonna show you the pictures of when I started noticing the peeling in my skin. I'm like, okay, I'm on to something. And that's when I noticed it started getting rid of a lot of the scars. My facial creams that I would put on absorbed more. I noticed my skin was, was you know, moisturized. It was full, just looking great compared to how it was before. Cause you know, I talked to you about my hyperpigmentation. My last peel was in December it's now January so what I do is I just and I want to tell you don't get on here and tell me about I'm a licensed esthetician and you should not be doing this you should go seek it nobody listen to her I don't need that over here okay I don't need that over here I'm doing this on my own skin example for you okay so I wouldn't I'm not telling you to do anything this is for entertainment purposes only okay I'm not I'm not liable for whatever you do okay so what I do is I take a couple of drops because the bottle it, it's like a dropper okay it's not we can you can pour a whole bunch and things like that it has a dropper so you, you can add it by the drop so I'm just gonna put in about 10 drops and I done lost count already yeah that looks like it's about 10 let's go 12 12 was a good month okay so go ahead and I pour that into here, into the 25% bottle. And I add this a couple of drops each time I use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up, mix it. And I apply it with my fingers because like I said, a lot of other products have glycolic acid in it. A lot of other products have, what is it? Um, Oh, I forgot that other name of that product. Anywho. What I want to do is go ahead and, just, and put this on, and it's nighttime. I'm not going out in the sun, and plus it rains a lot here in Seattle anyway. Like, we go days without seeing the sun. However, you still need some kind of SPF protection, even on cloudy days. So, sunny days. Yeah, that's funny. All right, so here I am. I'm going to just take pick some in, in my finger, and it's a gel. The one that comes as the glycolic formulation is actually a gel. So, it's really easy to apply. Uh-oh. Yeah, and the, the nozzle doesn't get, get kind of clogged after a while. So just be careful around your eyes and stuff. So yeah, this is it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just apply. Rub it in. And it smells really good. It has a really sweet smell to it. And I apply it everywhere that I need a peel. So that my over-the-counter facial creams and serums and vitamins that I put it into my skin absorb. And we can go ahead and get rid of this sluggish skin that just won't come off you know you have to give your skin a boost and you know help yourself beat you know the effects of aging make sure you drink a lot of water take your vitamins i noticed that um i can only take biotin like a couple of times a month because it will break me out no matter how much water i drink okay 
and I'm just on this this journey, this quest, you know, for perfect skin, perfect hair and nails, just maintaining my youth and beauty. Now I just rubbed, um, I did like about four, four uh, pumps of this, and I'm noticing my skin is not burning. I am having a little bit of tingling right here, but I, I had some some breakouts right there. But I have it on. And I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone. This is it. So I'm gonna let this sit on my face and marinate for the rest of the night. I'm probably I'm not gonna put anything over because this does not dry. Like it's a serum, and it's very I don't know. It's it's very serumy. I, I don't know the word to describe it. And I'm gonna just rinse off my fingers real quick so I can pick up something else. So yeah, I'm gonna also tell you what I do to keep my skin moisturized, okay? It's winter, it's really cold, it is harsh. So what I use uh, at night, this is my nightly routine. So I just showed you, I put on the, the glycolic peel, the 25% mixed with 50, which dilutes it a little bit, and I just apply that. So the next time I will use this will be in about two weeks. And that's, that's about it. So to keep my skin, my skincare, and to take care of the peel, I use, if I'm pronouncing this right, Shishido, Shishido, and this is the um, the White Lucent Luminizing Surge Emulsion, okay? If I pronounce that, that's a tongue twist out of this world. But I like this because it's not a bleaching cream. It is not. It is a brightener. And like I said, my hyperpigmentation and my discoloration, this works perfect in just blending in those spots so that it matches my skin tone. And when I put this on, I apply it after um, I wash my face. I use the micellar water. Um, and then I put on my, I'm still using the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Acne Solutions. I put that on first and, and to, on, on my trouble areas. And then I go over it with this. And I do about two pumps, massage into my skin. What's left over, I massage that into my neck because I also get chest chest breakouts. And it's clearing everything right up better than my prescriptions did, okay? Then in the morning when I wake up, um, I just take some, some, some cold water to my face. And then um, I use the counterpart, which is the Shy Cedo, if I'm pronouncing that right, y'all, um, the Day, day uh, Lotion. And this has SPF 18, okay? Because here we don't get a lot of sun. And, you know, whatever sun we do get, you know, I'm like, ha, huh, you know, get it. But uh, I use SPF 18. And this keeps my skin moisturized, you know, where I'm not overproducing oil because my skin is dry and dehydrated. Absolutely love these two products. Like, these are a staple. I got these um, at the Duty Free store up in Canada, but I know they also sell it at Sephora, but I went ahead and put it on my wish list on Amazon so that I can go ahead and just order it there and it'll, it'll come right to me. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a little bit expensive, but when it comes to your face and taking care of yourself, you don't want to, you know, shortchange your face, okay? Once you start losing elasticity and start losing your looks, you know, you either going to pay the surgeon to get it back or you just going to not get it back, okay? Um, what else? I also, now, if we have some really, really dry weather and if I'm noticing that I'm peeling really good, I will use the Cetaphil. I'll use this um, if I take off my makeup and I go to the gym, you know, and I'm in the showers there, then I'll, after I get done, I'll clean up and I'll, I'll put this on my face if it's like me a day. But I make sure I stick with the two um, Shy Cedo products for morning and night. And then this is like a midday pick me up, especially on those days where I'm not wearing makeup, you know, then I'll just dip some of that on to stay, stay moisturized. And that's about it, y'all. Oh, I want to also I mention this product here. Um, I found this at Burlington here uh, in Seattle. It's called Antioxidants and Vitamins. This is like my midweek face mask. I absolutely love it. I'll see if it's also available online. It looks like it's by Hydramar. But yes, this absolutely just brightens up my skin and whatever impurities or if it's like 
I'm noticing I'm getting some clogged pores. This will pull all of that out and my skin is just, just smooth. As you see, I just have scarring right now. I don't have really any active breakouts. So I'm really happy with this skincare um, routine. Another um, item I use every now and then, especially like around my eyes, is rose hip oil. Oh my freaking goodness, I love this stuff. So I would probably use this, today is Sunday, I put the peel on today. I'll probably use this um, come Tuesday, well yeah, come come Thursday through next Tuesday, okay? Because I, I kind of keep a schedule on the products I use so that I can rotate them out so that my skin does not get used to them. And that's about it. Uh, once again, that is my routine for doing a... Uh, I guess we call it like, like a 25 plus a 50s, about 45% peel, a uh, glycolic peel. That is it. And I am not going to rinse this off until tomorrow. I'm not. As you see, it is being absorbed into my skin. It's doing what it's doing. It's very gentle, okay? This peel is very gentle. Of course, you will always follow the instructions on your box. You will follow the instructions on here and you will um, use your best judgment on your own skin. But this is what works for me. And I do this every two weeks. I'm not gonna change it. I love it. I have the results. And then you will also see the pictures coming up, okay? So I thank you so much for watching this video. If you did not see my 30% one, go check that out and see what I'm doing differently and the positive results I'm getting. I welcome you to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.